Hello my friends, welcome to the 2015 and to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a puma. We begin sketching the general shape of the head and the body with loose strokes. Then we can begin giving some detail. I prefer to use the pencil for sketching to be able to do corrections. We mark the height of the eyes, the width of the nose, and continue making detail. I correct the right ear and take off the volume of the body, as it was way too big. It goes more or less like this. The snout and the legs. I'll modify the other ear as well. At the top of the back, visibly stick out the bones of the scapula, which are similar to our shoulder blades. Good! The lower part of the legs will be hidden by the brush. By the way, the list of materials is in the information below the video. The puma is the second biggest and strongest cat of the American continent, only after the jaguar. It can hunt during the day, at twilight, or at night. It has been identified with leadership, power, and energy. It's a wonderful animal. Unfortunately, in many areas it has been extinct, and in others it is an endangered species. Therefore, we need to protect them. Ok, good. Now we switch to a fine marker, a sepia that is a dark brown, and with this we do short lines, sometimes even dots, to render the tone and the texture of the fur. This is so fun! I love drawing so much! On the area of the nose and the snout, the fur is very short. Applying this technique, little by little, we achieve the tone and texture we wish. To make it darker, you can cross the lines, cross hatching, in different directions. Although as a general rule, it is good to follow the form, the shape of the part that you are drawing. The ink technique, or in this case the marker, is something worth testing. You may do it directly, or like in this case, you may first sketch with pencil if you want to go more safely. As I mentioned before, we try that the lines follow the shape of the parts, as I did it on the upper part of the body and on the legs. Not all the lines need to go like that, but this helps you to achieve the illusion of volume. Now we can erase the pencil marks and with this, the drawing will look cleaner. But please make sure the ink is totally dry so that it doesn't smear. Good! We give it the last touches to increase the contrast in the volume. And it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to find our tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.